And good day and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, where every Monday we attempt to provide some type of an interesting topic that perhaps you can use in your everyday life. And here at Seclair, uh, which is an integrative holistic uh, psychiatric facility, um, if we just talk to talk, and not walk the walk what type of uh, what type of individuals would we be or how honest and genuine and authentic would of an individuals would we be a number of months ago here at Seclair we started a recycling program where we recycle everything that we can recycle and quite often what we see today is a proliferation of garbage a proliferation of landfills um, and packaging I looked at uh, I looked at something I brought something the other day and it couldn't have been it couldn't have been more than four or five inches by four or five inches in the amount of packaging that I threw away from that dwarfed dwarf what was inside so and today what we're going to be talking about is the uh, proliferation and explosion of plastic water bottles you think water's good it is. Mm -hmm. And before we go on, uh, perhaps I forgot to say that my name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair. And today, it's the magic of this, we can edit it. Uh, today I'm joined by my colleagues. On my left would be... Jamila Badar. I'm from Chatham University. And on my right would be... I'm Shauna Landry. I'm a PA student at St. Francis University. Well, everyone has to be somewhere, and today you're here. Uh, so, do you think what we're we're encouraged to drink water? Are we not, Shauna? Absolutely. So, what what do you do you, as a physician's assistant? I imagine you'll be uh, prescribing more water to people. Yeah, I mean, it's water is good. I mean, our body consists of more than sixty to seventy-five percent of our body is you know consisting of water. Water is like you know what you're mainly made out of and um, it's very important to be hydrated and uh, for brain health and for your overall well-being so yeah and I think a lot of times people don't realize how how much water they should really be drinking on a regular basis I think is we're in, we're so busy in our lives it's easy to forget to drink water um, but every person is recommended to drink you know 10 to 12 glasses of water a day um, so it is definitely very important. And in the past few years, as more and more uh, scientific information's coming out about soda, or pop as we say here in western Pennsylvania, uh, they're finding out that these particular drinks are incredibly unhealthy for you. Even the diet drinks that people thought that they were drinking to try to help them lose weight, where actually these artificial sweeteners were actually part of a scientific experiment and who knows what what will happen with that however uh, given the healthiness of water we're seeing an explosion when you when you walk into the how many how many different brands of water can you think of how many different um, there are many different brands you know aquafina there's um smart water Sunny. there's Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, many, many, yeah. many, 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 mm -hmm. many, 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 yes. and so tell me, Shauna, what do these water? What does this water contain? What is it? What, what's the container for the water? It's Normally, usually, usually a plastic water bottle. A plastic water bottle, and does anyone ever think what happens to these plastic water bottles when when you're done drinking the water? I I feel like they some people just you know they buy them and for dollar fifty two dollars and once they are done with it they they throw it away in the garbage and you know little do they think about that they go into wastelands and they kind of they pollute the environment they um, lots of money are being you know spat um, yearly and it's it's better to be recycled but also it would be even more uh, better for not only yourself but the environment to um, use your tap water at home Sure, and today what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a, we, we obtained a slideshow that deals specifically with uh, with the water, water, water phenomenon. Uh, so here we see, and we see all these people drinking drinking bottles of water, and we think what, what, what an incredibly healthy way to do. Uh, however, the question is, bottled water, do we need water? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. do we need bottled water? No. Perhaps not, perhaps not. Uh, bottled water costs more than a dollar fifty a bottle, and that is nineteen hundred times the price of tap water. That's nineteen hundred times the price of tap water. Uh, you're paying for it. 
why not drink it? Which means bad news for your wallet, as an average citizen spends over $400 a year on bottled water, and health, which can be damaged by toxic chemicals like BPA, which is leached from bottle, bottled waters. Uh, and as uh, physician's assistants, I would suspect that you're going to be, in your lifetime, you're going to be dealing with environmental toxins, particularly which some that come from, from toxins like, uh, like plastic. Are either of you familiar with BPA? It's mostly just from all of the, the recent news and the recent research that has um, reached, I think, the general population where you, now you can find all the, the advertised water bottles that are BPA-free um, but and how they can leave, lead to some cancers. Absolutely. Well, the primary impact of all the watered waters is, is, on, our, is on our environment. And... Given that this uh, information is 11 years old, you can imagine how this has increased exponentially during that time. So in the year 2004, the bottled water usage was 26 billion liters, 26 billion liters of bottled water. Uh, 26 billion liters is 28 billion plastic water bottles in a year, and 86% of that end up at gar as garbage. 1,500 water bottles end up at garbage every second. Think of that. Every second, 1,500, and this is an 11-year-old infor information. This means that 17 million barrels of oil were used to produce those plastic bottles. And that oil could have been enough to fuel about 100,000 cars for that year. Talk about misuse of uh, natural resources. This also contributes to an additional 2,500,000 tons of carbon dioxide that was produced in the manufacturing of the plastic water bottle. So a simple thing like this little water bottle, Jamie, that you, you drink of uh, has, can have catastrophic results as it moves throughout our, our, out our world. Mm -hmm. And a hundred billion dollars, that's how much you spend on consumer and bottled waters every year. Uh, that is a lot of money. That, that is a lot of money. Imagine how much of your student debt could be paid off with a hundred billion dollars. Maybe a little All bit. Of it. Of, maybe, maybe a little bit of it, huh? A hundred, a hundred billion dollars, and keep in mind this information is 11 years old. Uh, and research shows that for a fraction of that amount, everyone on the planet could have safe drinking water and proper sanitation. However, uh, here particularly in the industrialized Western world, we're a little bit selfish and self-centered, are we not? We can be. We can be absolutely. And what is uh, what is what is the main concern about self gratification and immediate immediate desire, immediate uh, pleasure? So what's easier than buying a, buying a bottle of water? Are we thinking about other people in other countries that perhaps aren't as fortunate as us and have access to this type of water? Do we think of what we're spending on it? Not so much. Other. Sure. So. If you only drink bottled water and you don't know all the facts, you spend the money, you pollute the earth, you risk polluting the aquifer and other water bodies, bottles, all for bottled water. Do you know what an aqua aquifer is? It's, it's, um, it's an underground layer of water bearing uh, permeable rock from which groundwater can be Usefully extracted using a water well. Absolutely. The, the, earth, is, the earth has its, its, its own filter. Okay, and that's an aquifer. The earth filters the water naturally, and most of the aquifers are, are underneath the surface of the earth, which is where a lot of the, the surface water comes from. So when we're doing these type of things and polluting the environment, making these landfills, we're, we're destroying and we're poisoning the aquifers. 35% um, of bottled water drinkers think that it's safe, safer than tap water. However, it is not. This, this is a one picture of the Pacific Ocean in the year 2004. And uh, our video expert, uh, Mike Sorg, was talking a little earlier about islands, islands of trash that are floating floating out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. That's uh, fairly sad. So it's, it's easy enough to, to shut these images off and go uh, play your Xbox or play PlayStation. It's like when people watch a... Uh, a sad commercial on TV about mistreated animals, and they just they switch the channel. Nobody nobody wants to. It's easier, it's easier softer way just to forget about it, is it not? <laughs> the easier softer way. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, Miss Shauna, what do you think of that? 
I think if we all came together and, you know, realized what what the consequences of not recycling and consuming all of these products that we could pr- potentially prevent something like this from happening. And small changes lead to big ones, do they not, Jamie? They do, sure do. Mm-hmm. So, so it's just you and I. If each of yeah. us, if each of us in this room, if each of us uh, watching this broadcast would stop buying bottled water, that would be a wonderful start. Mm-hmm. So this photo was taken in taken in Los Angeles, California, where they put it. Like these are the type of things that they put up to capture oil spills. However, look what it captured. Captured a whole lot of whole lot of trash, a whole lot of, of plastic and water bottles. I have no idea what the uh, how much a bottle of water, how long it lasts for. I have no idea how long it it stays. Maybe it might stay around forever and ever. So, do you keep water bottles in your cars? You ever keep it in your car? I do. Of mm-hmm. course. You thought it was convenient, but do you know that the heat in the car and the plastic in the bottle can leach out chemicals that can lead to breast and other type of cancers? And even though you know that you might not keep them in a car, you might know that extreme temperatures it is kept through before you bought it. Um, so before the bottle of water got to you, it's gone through a, a whole, whole, whole process. So what we're doing is we're having no idea how we're being exposed. It seems that uh, we're being protected from many, many other things in our lives. However, with these particular type of uh, environmental unknowns uh, there doesn't seem to be much much protection for us and of course uh, a whole lot of it leads with uh, corporate uh, greed lust and self-love no matter which one you choose when you think of going green ditching bottled water keeps mother earth and your wallet green so and these would be the sources of information I, I would urge you to research these particular websites and if your community does not have a recycling program I would suggest that you may want to inter- introduce that. Uh, so tell me what your thoughts are on bottled water now Miss Shauna. Um, you know I think that the more people that see this the better the more you know we get the message out um, that it, it's definitely a good idea to switch over from your bottled water and if you don't have good tap water at home um, there are always other options like getting a Brita filter or something like that um, for your home. And Miss Jamie? I completely agree with Shauna. I think it's a, it would be very important to get this message across um, to almost to everybody and for us to I don't know, not buy the, the bottled waters and to just kind of recycle and use Brita filters and, um, and your tap water that you're already paying for. So. And in quote, I'm going to quote from uh, the big book of 12-step recovery, frothy emotional appeal seldom suffices. The message that can interest and hold these people must have depth and weight. So many, many years ago, maybe I'm showing my age, there used to be a Native American that would see all the, all the trash and things along the road, and they'd show a tear running down his face. Well, that's frothy emotional appeal, okay? We can beg, we can plead, we can yell. However, the message that has interest in weight is the actual true fact when we see these pictures. The damage that is is doing to the earth, the things that you're we're killing the, the home that we live in. So my suggestion is that unless you do not want your children to live in dome cities, that you may want to consider some of the things that you purchase and buy and throw away each day. And I'm going to ask Miss Shauna to take us out. Okay, and so to, con- to continue this conversation, please like us on Facebook. Plus us on Google Plus or follow us on Twitter under St. Clair Life and keep an eye on any of these for our next live recording, Mondays around noon, to ask your own questions. You can also find this in other Grand Rounds on, YouTube, on youtube.com slash St. Clair Video and find audio versions on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And please visit www.stclair.com for more about us and other articles on our blog. Thank you. And as always, uh, we, you two will be uh, certainly at some time uh, writing prescriptions, will you not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have, a, we have a huge prescription plan here at Seclair, which, uh, which we keep. One of the prescriptions that we often write out for is for hope. The other prescription that we often write out for is for fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your TV, 
uh, perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, you can come fishing without bait with us. No expectations. So until the next time, your assignment is to please be good to yourself in whatever way you can. Until then.